Hello everyone! In today's video we're gonna check this mod for the Game Boy Advance. This is a set of clicky dumb switches that will change the feel of the buttons on your Game Boy Advance to a Game Boy Advance SP. These are very easy to install and it's a great starting point if you are learning how to solder and mod consoles. Also, this is a good time to check what's the problem with my Game Boy Advance. There's this weird issue with the colors on the screen. But it still works normally and we can test it. Here we can see the membrane D-pad. The diagonals aren't hard to press, but it feels a bit tough to move around. Maybe it's because these membranes are old and it's not responsive as before. And here's a quick sound test. The first step is to disassemble your Game Boy Advance and position the switches in the correct spot. You should perfectly line it up to these points on the motherboard. Once positioned, you can hold the parts in place with some tape and apply flux to all of the points that will be soldered. And now you should apply a single drop of solder on each of these points. And you can see that it's very easy, it's great for beginners. Now repeat the same process to the other side. Then clean the remaining flux with some isopropyl alcohol. and replace the membranes. Also, I was able to figure out what the problem with the display was. It's probably a bad connection with the display cables. And we can already test the D-pad and you can see how easy it is to move around right now. It feels much more precise and responsive. But I didn't like the A and B buttons very much. Since these buttons are taller, they become quite sensitive to the smallest amount of pressure. And since they're activated earlier, I wasn't able to perform combos correctly. So I opened the Game Boy again and reverted it back to the membrane buttons but just on the A and B. I also fixed the bad contact with the display cable and now everything is perfect. So on the D-pad we have the clicky dumb switches and on the face buttons we have the membrane buttons.
There is just one problem with this kit that is that now you can hit all four directions if you press on the center. This is unavoidable because with the extra PCB, the switches are slightly elevated from the board. And it's not very easy to hit all four directions. You must really push in the center to get them all activated. So it's not that big of a problem. And that's it for this video. This mod is pretty cool. It is easy to install, it is reversible, and it greatly improves the D-pad. The A and B button don't feel as good as the membrane buttons. But you can install the mod just on the D-pad side. And that's it for today's video. As always, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.